The islands of Malta sit in the heart of the Mediterranean Sea, at one of the most strategic crossroads in European history. Dr. Memphel uncovered the remains of dwarf elephant and dwarf hippopotamus, here at Gare de Lam. Gare de Lam also revealed pottery and confirmed the belief of archaeologists that the first inhabitants came from Sicily towards the end of the 5th millennium BC. In time, their descendants developed a unique temple culture and erected vast and complex megalithic sanctuaries older than the pyramids of Egypt. Like the Maya, these people mysteriously disappeared. Well, I think that the prehistoric temples are the most important because they are unique. You don't find anything like them anywhere in the world. Why they build them here and not anywhere else, it's impossible to, to say. I think they are the effect of an isolation of a particular culture. Massive boulders of coralline limestone, some up to 20 feet long and weighing 50 tons, form the outer wall of Gantia on Gozo. 13-foot high monoliths were used as door jams of the monumental entrance. The facades of the temples face southeast and form a concave curve, creating a ceremonial space for public rituals, which was on a raised platform and probably enclosed. Over time, temple design became more complex. Rooms were added, creating an intricate labyrinth, such as at Hagar Kim. You're right to be uh, amazed by the size of the stones and how a primitive people, a primitive society, could, be, could have the technology to quarry the stones, move them over sometimes miles, and then set them up uh, in their position. The answer is that time for them was no problem and they, they, they were certainly, they could rely on a communal effort so they had some, some degree of social stratification, social organization and obviously they had good leaders, possibly at the service of a very um, convincing ideology, presumably religious ideology. There have been questions in the past as to the, uh, the label temples. Um, a certain archaeologist called Liliu, Giovanni Liliu, suggested princely abodes or palaces. But from the remains found in the temples, the so-called altars and the um, objects, uh, bowls and other figurines found in, inside the temples, uh, we deduce that uh, the most likely explanation is that they were uh, built for religious purposes. From the air, the plan of another megalithic temple, Menedra, resembles a fat lady, goddess of fertility, and is believed to represent Great Mother Earth. It was to these temples that pilgrims came to commune with the goddess, consult her oracle and seek cures for illness. The lives of these primitive people were dominated by the sun, which rose early from the sea in the southeast and settled back into the sea at night. To them it symbolized birth and rebirth, the gift of abundance, a fat and fertile Mother Earth. I was equally intrigued by the holes that had been perfectly carved into the stone. Some were enormous, creating entrances to inner chambers. Others were quite small and sophisticated. Well, uh, holes had different functions. The holes in vertical surfaces were intended to hold ropes, especially for doors, rope hinges. Behind the doors, you would normally find uh, holes on either side, which were intended to hold bars to secure the doors. So that, that introduces another aspect. Why did they need to close the doors? and from inside. People close themselves inside in order to secure uh, from outside intrusion. Uh, there are also holes on horizontal surfaces, on floors. We tend to interpret those as libation holes offer for offerings of liquid uh, substances like uh, oil, milk perhaps, uh, possibly even wine. We have never found any indication of human sacrifice. People were buried after natural death uh, outside the temples in separate places, in fact, underground. The Hypogeum is another temple on Malta, but this one is underground, carved deep into the soft limestone. 
it is likely that healing, meditation and a variety of ritual functions took place here. Eventually it was used as a burial place and when discovered in 1902 it was estimated from the fragments of bone and other remains that some 7,000 bodies had been interred here. Many, many scholars, many prehistorians tried to identify causes for the disappearance, possibly collapse of the temple culture, but uh, without success. Uh, what we see is the end, almost abrupt end, of the temple culture and their replacement by a completely different um, type of construction. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.